Every day, about 200,000 kilograms of tomato sauce are produced in this factory. To produce such a quantity, enormous harvesters collect millions of fresh tomatoes. But how is tomato sauce made in factories? In this video, we will discover how one of the most popular sauces is mass-produced. During the tomato harvest season, 50 million kilograms are processed each year. 95% of the tomatoes harvested in the United States come from California. The warm days make the tomatoes very flavorful. They cultivate tomatoes with thick skin and firm consistency so that machinery can harvest and sort them without damaging the pulp. Two or three weeks before the harvest, the water supply is cut off. This period of drought concentrates the pulp, making it denser and more fleshy. After 90 days on the plant, these tomatoes are ready for harvesting. Technology has revolutionized the tomato business. This harvester is a factory on wheels operated by four workers. Sharp teeth cut the roots and send the tomato plants onto a conveyor belt. The plants ascend on the belt into the harvester. Inside the harvester, metal spikes shake the tomatoes to detach them from the vines. The shaker separates the heavier fruits from the plant and ejects the waste at the back, recycling it as fertilizer for the next year's harvest. However, the monstrous machine also collects unwanted things like soil, stones, and green tomatoes. A laser scanner separates the ripe red tomatoes from the green ones. It scans anything that is not intensely red and prevents it from entering the machine. A conveyor transports the ripe red tomatoes to a trailer that moves alongside the harvester. The best tomatoes are loaded onto trailers capable of holding 300,000 tomatoes each. They fill around 24 tomato trucks per day, with each truck transporting exactly 22 tons of tomatoes, ensuring minimal damage during transportation. Once they have a load of 22 tons, the tomatoes are delivered to the canning factory. There, the trailer is filled with water, and the tomatoes float out through a side door. 2.5 million tomatoes enter the factory every day from July to October. First, a stream of water propels them through a steel channel, allowing the dirty water to drain through the slots in the conveyor. The tomatoes land in a clean, water-filled channel where stones sink to the bottom and are removed. The tomatoes are protected from bruising as they pass through water-filled channels, initiating the delicate cleaning process. The tomatoes float in a large tank where jets of water agitate them for a gentler cleansing. In the first bubble tank, the bubbles keep the tomatoes suspended, moving and cleaning them at the same time. Then the tomatoes proceed to a sorting line. As they ascend on a conveyor belt, they are sprayed and cleaned. An electronic sorter eliminates any damaged, discolored, or unripe fruits. Pneumatic fingers remove these tomatoes from the batch all in less than a second. The ones that pass the test move on to the next phase. They are immersed in a very hot bath that softens the skins. Next, the tomatoes pass through a peeler, which gently removes the outer layer of skin, leaving the rest of the tomato intact. A water jet washes away the skins, which fall through the rubber discs, leaving no dirt behind. The peeled tomatoes move to another conveyor belt, where sprayers give them another rinse. This conveyor controls the flow of peeled tomatoes into the processing room, dosing the product as it advances. The tomatoes descend a ramp to the cutting machine, the cutter has two giant stainless steel blades, and the tomatoes pass through them at high speed. It is almost imperceptible to the human eye. The conveyor then takes them past the operators who remove any pieces that are not perfectly red. While the tomatoes continue their journey, another process begins in the plant. The depalletizers unload stacks of empty aluminum cans to maintain a constant supply for the filling lines. Meeting the demand for filling on the lines is a critical process. When the cans finally reach the fillers, they are flipped and subjected to a burst of ionized air to ensure they are clean and empty. The tomatoes are transferred to a grinding machine, which turns them into a puree. This machine uses special blades to cut and crush the tomatoes into small pieces, making it easier to mix them with other ingredients. Once the tomatoes are crushed, the resulting puree is filtered to remove any seeds or leftover skin. Filtering is done through a machine that passes the tomato puree through a series of sieves and filters to eliminate impurities and obtain a smooth and homogeneous tomato sauce. It is important to remove the seeds and skin from the tomatoes as they could alter the texture and flavor of the sauce. The removal of impurities also helps extend the shelf life of the sauce. After the crushing process is completed, the tomato puree is moved to the next phase of production, which is the tomato cooking stage. The tomato puree is placed in large stainless steel pots that are heated using steam and continuously stirred to prevent the tomato from burning or sticking to the bottom of the pot. Tomato cooking can last several hours. In another pot, a careful saute is prepared with onion and garlic, 
from which a flavorful oil will be obtained to be mixed with the sauce. Around 9 kilograms of fresh garlic and onion are added to a pot filled with sunflower oil. The tomato puree is transferred to large mixing tanks, where the fried oil and other ingredients such as salt, sugar, spices, and vinegar are added. The mixing process is crucial to ensure that all the ingredients are evenly blended and that the tomato sauce has a consistent taste. The ingredients are mixed for 20 minutes to ensure proper homogenization. Every day, about 200,000 kilograms of tomato sauce are produced in this factory. Once the tomato sauce is mixed, it is pumped through pipes to the pasteurization room. The mixture is heated to high temperatures to kill any bacteria or microorganisms present, ensuring a longer shelf life. Then it is cooled down for packaging. Once the tomato sauce is pasteurized, it is sent to the filling room. The cans are lined up, ready to be filled. The filling machine pours the tomato sauce into the aluminum cans. The packaging process is fully automated. The cans move to the sealing machine, where steam displaces all the air from the can. The sealer places a lid on top and folds and rolls the edges, creating a hermetic seal. These layers of aluminum form a barrier that prevents the product from coming into contact with oxygen, ensuring a shelf life of nine months. The cans go through the labeling machine, and labels are applied to the side. Hundreds of cans pass through the labeling machine every minute. Once labeled, the cans are packed and prepared for shipment. If you want to know how mayonnaise is made, you can find the link in the description and the first comment. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications for more amazing videos to continue learning and thanks for watching.